channel today we're back with another subscriber doing some more subscriber coaching so let's go through mr wow talk to me man. what's going on in this scenario talk me through the break here what's going on in your break in your head what are you trying to do what's your goal here uh, I really was trying to play time right here. Bro. Try to play time off the break. Okay, cool. So I think it's good to have a plan off the break, but at the same time, you always have to be kind of cautious of what they're going to do as well. And I feel like a lot of people, they have a break, like a set break, but they don't really adapt. So you just got to be very careful here. So as you're going through, let's just take a look at the minimap and see what's kind of going on, okay, in the, in the whole picture. So obviously they're going to be spawning basically in the red star and you're going to be at the blue point. So you sending three people through here, you're sending one through there, one through the right, one through your first kind of thought process is to go for map control so the first wave of kills is really about map control you're really just trying to get this much map control okay so that's what yeah. the first wave of kills are so let's go through and see how we can use a kill feed to kind of study this off the break i personally am not a fan of you going through and the reason i stopped this because i wanted to say it before it happened you're probably going to die in this scenario that, that you're just going through the door i want you to think about it right if you're the red team Give me like a couple of power spots that you would probably sit at if you're the red team right now. Top AC. Okay. Top third. P2 window. Okay, perfect. They're, they're really good spots. So you're, you're understanding the power spots is really important, right? So off the break here, let's just say they had two people here because they're not worried about the hill. They're worried about the map control. Can you see the difference in urgency? You're going straight for the hill where they're going straight for the kills, right? Which is a bit yeah. different. So this player right now, I would rather my number two player, which he's doing now, I'd rather him focus on killing you than you just going on the hill. Like if I'm a coach and I want a teammate right now, I would rather do what he's doing because he's gaining the map control, which is the longer picture. What you're doing is if you see this, you're going through, you're trying to just get on the hill, but you end up dying now. So you dying, what ends up happening? What is the kind of like, what happens now? Well, now your teammates are in a 4v3. So even if everyone trades right now, right? Let's just say everyone trades, okay? What ends up happening then is he dies, he dies, he dies, you die, you die, you die, okay? Because they got the first kill, so they have one person left. What happens yeah. now is that player can set up in a power spot knowing where you're spawning. So he might sit, he might sit around the corner or something like this. So now everyone that spawns up, they have the advantage. The red team has the advantage because they have the map control. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I know it just seems like a one small death, but every death is important because now your team gunfight is probably going to be harder. So now we go through. So we go through, we see what happens. Your teammate's behind one. You're going through tunnel. And you can just see now your teammate dies as well. And just off the break, just from that first death, you're already on the back foot. You see your teammates going as well. So one thing that you need to start doing as well, if you can, okay? I'm not sure if you are, but communicating with your team. Okay, I died. I overcommitted. Play your life. Try to play for kills. Can you see how every single player in your team went and died separately? That's not what we want. We want your team to be like a unit and go together and get kills together. But everyone died. So that's not ideal. So now we're going through. You're by yourself. They should ideally be holding this angle. So right now, as you're going through, okay, they should be holding it. Your teammate here tells me that they don't have a lot of map control around P2. So they're probably going to have people on top snow. So good play from you. You're going through. Again, you have a decision to make here. Okay. So you have a decision to make. One, do I just go across without shooting? Or two, do I go for the kill? I think you made an okay decision, but you just have to make sure you're guaranteeing the kill there. Because now you're in a spot where, again, you're kind of running away. I prefer if you run away without shooting them, because you would have been kind of an element of surprise, okay? Yeah. But two people go down. So talk to me right now. 24 seconds. Where do you think they're spawning? Because I know you said you struggle with spawn slightly on this map. So where do you think they're spawning right now, the enemy team? They're backside right there um, behind P2. Okay. P4. So yeah, that, that's perfect. So they're still going to be spawning around there, right? So even yeah. though you are around there, they are still going to have the spawns. But what you're doing is a really good job of closing the map down. So what you should be trying to do is suffocate them here and then flip them. You really want them to spawn here. Okay, do you know why you want them to spawn here? Yes, yeah, fine. out of P2. Perfect. So for P2, you want them to be spawning far away. So the reason we want that, again, like you said, is to get the map control. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to go through. Two, put two people down. That's some good shots here. But immediately, I can just tell the way you're approaching this is you're, ex you're not really thinking about where they're coming from. You're more kind of trying to catch the middle map. You're more trying to catch them in middle map where I think right now is where you could really play spoiler. Maybe you go top third and really mess up their map control. Okay? Yeah. So this is where decisions can be made, okay? So again, when you're asking me about what can I do, stuff like this, this is a perfect example. Right now, you have a lot of decisions to make. One is to go left. One is to go top third. 
one is to go window. You decide to go to the window. The problem is now, anyone that's top third, they can see your red dot and they're going to be more cautious. So you're less likely to play spoiler. Your teammates get two. Again, I would prefer if you played spoiler, go top third. There's going to be two players now that spawn up. They are going to be sprinting, okay? So while you kind of distract those two, your teammates will be in a three versus two. So you could, in an ideal situation, play behind them, kill these two people off the spawns, turn around and help your team. And then, what could hopefully happen then, is your teammates push up, you end up flipping the spawns. So this is kind of a chain of events that need to happen, but can you, uh, do you have any questions about why I want you to play like this in this scenario? No, that makes perfect yeah. sense. Because if what you're doing now is you're shooting the player on the hill, which could work, by the way. This is not a bad play. But the problem you have is these players are going to spawn up. You're just giving them another wave. You're just letting them have map control. So I'd rather you actually go up top, maybe kill one. Because what happens then? I want you to think for a second. If you're number one, you're sitting in this corner. And you are shooting number two, okay? But then number four is shooting up here. What, what do you do here? You probably play a bit scared. You probably yeah. play a bit scared. You either run around to get a timing or you sit and sit in a corner. But either way, he's not going to really be a threat. Like most yeah. of the time, your team should kill him, man. So it's just about okay. thinking a step ahead. Okay, let me kill the spawners and then kill the players on the hill. By then, my teammates can get four down. We can push up and spawn them over there. This will take 10 to 15 seconds to set up. Look at the timing. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. But instead, you go through. Even now, look where you're pre-aiming. You're pre-aiming the tunnel, right? That tells yeah. me that you understand spawns, but in the game, because of the chaos of the game, it's a little bit hard to predict. Yeah. So right now, like they, realistically, if somebody came through tunnel, I'd be very surprised because your team's all over that side. So it would be very, very rare for somebody to spawn here and somehow be tunnel unless they took a really long route. 100%. Yeah. So again, it's just, yeah. you understand that because you, you, you're the one who told me that they're spawning here. So it's about looking at the minimap now and painting a picture. Okay, if I have a teammate up here, I have a teammate up there, teammate there, and I'm standing there, where should they spawn? Realistically, we still have this spawn. They're going to spawn on my left. So don't waste time looking at tunnel because you're just wasting your own time here. And that's what timing is. You need to make sure you're, you're a bit more efficient here. You go through. Again, I don't mind this play. And look at that. This is a perfect example. You caught this player sprinting, so you read the spawns really well. But I think we both can see that right here, you didn't read the spawns because you're pre-aiming tunnel, right? But imagine yeah. if you did this whole play, if you didn't do all this, this was... Do you think your teammate would have got that kill without you? Yeah. Yeah? So right, yeah. Now, right now, you are assisting a fight that they are going to win regardless. So you are... It's like you're doubling down on a kill for no reason. Right now, I'd rather you be more impactful, go where you were going to go, five seconds earlier. So all I wanted you to do here, instead of even going here, was just to go top third, because I think it's why it's a better spot. The problem mm. with going where you are now is you're probably going to get traded. It's a good spot to go, don't get me wrong, but you're probably going to get traded and then you're going to spawn back there. I don't want you to die. I want you to stay up here because we want these spawns. You're more likely to be cha chaotic up here. Yeah. Really small changes, nothing crazy, but those small changes. So you go through, good play, really good kill. Now the second one's there. You're kind of one shot. You're going through. You're playing your life. Again, really good kill there. Really good kill. But I think they should have killed you. So you absolutely yeah. clutched up. But I think to make it easier, you probably could have played it a little bit smarter. But really good play once you're in that situation. Any questions from there? No. But good play. Again, you're watching the back here. So just same thing we spoke about. If you had up top, it would have been a, just a nicer angle for you to hold it with. That's basically it. You're making a good play. You know where they're spawning from. You get pinched from the right. I mean, this isn't a bad play at all. The only problem we're having now is map control. Okay, map control for me is a huge, huge issue. In this scenario, where are your teammates? You have you're the blue team. You're over there. You're watching the flank. You have one teammate up top and you have one team on bottom. In terms of actual map control, you guys are very limited. You guys have this much map control. Yeah. Okay? Your fourth teammate's dead. So right now, look what they're doing. They're sending one through the front. They're sending one through the side window, one through the back, maybe two through the back. It's a lot harder for you to watch multiple angles. So when something like this happens to you, you need to think, okay, why was this hard to play against? Well, they were pinching. What made this okay right now? What makes this not impossible is that they took their time. But you see right there, you see you guys were distracted. It's because he pinched you from the back. So this was just really good play from the enemy team. 
because yeah. they were taking their time. Now, if they rushed in and you won that, I would have said that was bad from them. They played that really well. So let's see where you spawn now. So they go through. Like I said, you're watching the back there. I'm not even going to say you play that bad because you guys were in a bad spot. I think this teammate here, I don't like where he's sitting. I don't like that spot because you just have no map control. I don't mind sitting on the top because you're watching out the window, but in there's nothing. Now, where do they spawn? Where are you spawning? You guys are now in an absolute blender. Why? Because you're spawning in the tunnel area. You're spawning here. So mm -hmm. they they know you're pushing, so they're going to have the front locked down, okay? Yeah. 40 seconds left. They should be preeming you right now. Let's see what happens. So right now, are you still that. going for spawns or what, what are you thinking right now in this game? If you're in this scenario, the 40 seconds left, what are you trying to like, what is your goal right now? Are you trying to break the hill? Are you trying to go for spawns? What are you trying to do right now? I was going to try to go for a break, but catch anybody that was like trying to come out, they spawn. So this is really important. I like that you said that and I'm going to explain to you about the timing. Right now, tell me when your teammate gets a kill. He's got one, right? He's killed Sol, okay? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's just pay attention to the kill feed now. Let's see when you get another kill. So death, death, maybe a trade. Okay, maybe one trade, cool. By the time you get there, realistically, any spawner has already rotated. Realistically, maybe you catch one, but realistically they've all rotated because only one died in that situation, okay? So when you're catching a spawner, you're, you wanna catch them when you've got a two piece because what you're doing is cutting the lanes again. So you wanna watch them as they're spawning up, right? But what you, are, what you have to be careful of, very careful, don't stand here for too long because if they've already gone through, you're just wasting your, your life here doing nothing. You're wasting your time and your, your map position. Okay? Yeah. In this scenario, it might work out okay. You might catch one, but it's just about a timing thing. And there you go. That's the player that just died. So again, you catch one. But this is why it's important to look at the kill feed because you probably should have identified that maybe one will be spawning here. So if you hold the angle, you probably could have killed that player. And there's two, okay? So the two people that died earlier, they're the ones who spawned up. I thought one might have gone through, but it looks like none of them did. You're going through, 30 seconds. Now, let me talk about this scenario, why I don't love it. Right now, if you get four people down, what happens there? Where do they spawn? They flip out of P3. Yeah. For me, this isn't ideal because although you maybe get the next 25, you give them the spawns for the new hill. It's not bad. It's just something to be careful of. It's just something to be careful of. If you're a team that likes to break, then maybe. But right now, I just think you have to be very careful that if you flip the spawns there, you're giving them the new rotation. Okay? So I don't mind you doing it, but I just want you to understand that I that's the consequence. Shots. Shots. Now, you dying there, like you said, you missed your shots. That was just one of those where you mechanically, you just missed a few shots. It's not the end of the world. Okay? Yeah. You played it okay with the flank, but now you're probably going to spawn in the old hill. So this is the problem I have now. With 20 yeah. seconds left, yeah, bro, that's, is that's it really worth it? Yeah, that's why yeah. the game's so hard, bro. Exactly. Do you like, think that was worth like it right that. there? Like, right now, are you nah. happy that you flip spawns? No. Nah. Probably nah, not, nah. right? And this nah. is the thing, though. You're in control. I think people get intimidated by the timer. Right now, I know it looks like 40 seconds left. Honestly, if I'm like being completely transparent with you, I think the best play right now is to break the hill from the front, okay? Break the hill from the front, go through the window, go through the side door, something. Break it through the front, but make sure that they are still spawning back here. That is your number one priority. You don't mind getting time, but make sure they're still spawning here, okay? Because then, this is where it gets really interesting. They spawn back here, you get a four, four down, okay? You can have someone in the hill here, you can have someone top third. You can have someone back anchoring the new spawns. And you can have somebody top middle, right? Then what you do is you get another kill, you get another two piece, you back away. All you're doing is just delaying their push. Yeah. For me, if I have a team I'm coaching, I'm always trying to set that up. I'm trying to set up the, the pinch so that they are trapped in this area. And then I'm going to have somebody maybe far right pushed up. Maybe somebody's top middle, maybe somebody, uh, maybe two people around here. For me, this is just such a better setup than having this spawn, which is what you've got now. Yeah. All because of this decision here. And the thing is, you've got to remember as well, is it worth it? Well, right now you didn't even go in the hill. So you see how you guys got three down, but the hill is still contested. So you see right now, it's not even worth it. Because look, it's only 15 seconds now and they've still contested the hill. Oh no, you guys have got the hill. My, I'm tweaking, it's because of the color. Normally that means contest for me, orange is contest, okay. <laughs> so you have to ask yourself, is 20 seconds worth the rotation? Now, sometimes the answer will be yes, but most of the time it will be a no. 
Okay. I'm pushing long. Yeah. I'm Let's see how you break the hill now. Here, Any questions so far? No. So you traded the 20, you're going for the spawn. Okay, cool. Right now, again, decision making. I don't mind you doing this, but I think it has to be communication with your teammate. If you and your team are going through now, I don't even mind you guys going together to break the hill now because you're leaving him by himself. You're just making it harder for him. He has to now go into a 1v3 potentially. So he's going in. The red team are set up. If he dies now, where does he spawn? Oh, me. He, sp he spawns all the way back there. Yeah. So again, if you're going to go up top there, I think it's something you guys have to discuss. Is it worth going up top? Or maybe he waits with you, go together. Like, I just think you got to be careful here. Because he's by himself now. Let's let's pay attention to the kill feed. I don't mind this again, but just it's all about this player. Because if he dies now, I think it's a bit wasted. So in this one, you got away with it. But I want you to understand the, the potential causes of what could go wrong here. You use your right stick a lot when you're using your AR. So something we can work on is using the left stick. The thing right now, I know your shot looks inconsistent. It's just the fact that you're not using your aim assist and you're using the right stick. The right stick isn't great for aiming like this. You want to actually use your left stick and strafe and just be a bit more control. Okay? Because that's why you're missing a lot of bullets. Now, right there, again, your teammate, he goes by himself, he gets a kill. He gets traded, but now you're by yourself. I don't want you to run out and die here. This is so important. Right now, you're by yourself. Where are your teams spawning? You're, oh, would you know the two spawns on this map, on this hill? Um, uh, Roughly? Right there by Maze. Right there by Maze and uh, back at uh, P3. Per per perfect. So you know exactly where they spawn roughly, like in these areas, right? So yeah. now you've got to think about it. They are going to have four people back here. By the way, this isn't a perfect setup for them either because they're playing very reserved. This isn't an ideal setup. They probably have something like this. I don't know. I'm just guessing, okay? You yeah. are by yourself here. What you should be doing is buying time for your teammates. You do not need to be a superhero now. You do not need to break it by yourself. That's not the goal right now. The goal is to buy time because your teammates are all dead, okay? So yeah. I'm going to watch you, but this is what I want you to do in an ideal situation. Buy time, strafe, play your life, get a kill or two, let your teammates push up. Once you have map control, you then trade effectively and break the hill. Well, let's see what you do here. So you're doing a similar job. You're doing okay. Your team actually spawns there. So as soon as your teammate spawns there, you should, this is really important. Let's pay attention to the minimap right now. As soon as your teammate spawns there, that tells you, because of everyone pushed out, the map is all over the place. What's going to happen right now is very important. Your teammates actually spawn there. They are going to have two people spawn out there. You should communicate to your teammate, whoever spawns there, somebody's spawning with you. It's a weird thing. This shouldn't happen, but this is exactly what happens right now. You should communicate to your teammates. Someone's with you, okay? Yeah. And you're going to get a split spawn right now. You need to play your life and pinch with this teammate. You guys are coming. You need to command a pinch together. Is that something you think you're doing? Yeah. Yeah? As soon as, he, as, soon as I see him spawn back there, that's why I jumped down and needed. But even yeah, right I now, I don't yeah. just feel like jumping down is a little bit, it's just a little bit unreliable because you didn't know where they could be right now. You have no intel. They could have easily, easily had someone right there. Yeah. Sitting right there, right? You had no yeah. intel. So this is where I think sometimes there's a little bit of luck involved where you jump down, it works okay, but you had no intel right there. What happens right now, okay? Talk to me. What happens if this guy kills you and you're jumping off and then he pushes through? They're going to win the trades. So you've got to be very careful here. I don't mind it, but it could go wrong. 35 seconds, same thing. I want you to be pushing through here. Okay, talk to me through this decision, because this is one of the most important decisions that people do wrong, in my opinion. Talk to me through this one. I'm just trying to fucking... I knew, I knew they'd be coming through tunnels, so I just laid down for trying to just get a little off angle. So, so I 100% agree through. with the logic. I just think the execution is like, for me, if I'm jumping around that corner, this is the first thing I'm looking at. Like, I'm always looking here, because it's not really an off angle, because you're on the hill. Yeah. And the other thing is, you're, you're getting hammered as fuck right now, because look at this. He cameraed you. So even if you have a good shot, he just cameras you. So what I think you could have done right now is you have someone on the hill, create an angle for yourself. Play on the head glitch. Play on the head glitch, chuck a trophy, chuck a grenade, create space for yourself. Because right now, you're holding the angle, he absolutely cameras you and fries you. Okay? Small detail, he wins a gunfight. And now look, 25 seconds left. Where are you guys? You guys are in the back foot again. Every yeah. single hill, you guys have had the late rotation. Now in this scenario, you've got the spawns for P3. But you don't have the spawns for P4, P5, P1, or P2. 
This isn't yeah. the side of the map you really want to be on. But with 25 seconds left, I don't mind you here right now. But let's see how we can break it. Unlucky, you're switching guns. It's not the end of the world. Now, what happens here? They overcommitted to fuck. They overcommitted. You should realize this as a mistake from them. They went for the scrap time here, but they gave you spawns. So even though you died here, this is actually good for you. Look where you spawn here. You spawn in the new hill. So, so right now you're playing for time, okay? I don't mind what you're doing here again. I don't mind what you're doing here. But what we what we thinking about? Right now you should be thinking about the minimap. You shouldn't be worried about anything else other than map control. So I like your comms. You're telling your team where you're going, but there's one really important thing. You need to be telling your team to pick up certain lanes. So right now, yeah. talk to me through an optimal setup on P4. Uh, green gate, somebody okay. at least uh, watching the mid maze, so so he can't get flanked from P2. Okay. And one something more, like one that. More. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. So for me personally, I don't mind this. I think what most people do, and it looks like you guys are kind of doing it now, is this is like tunneling for me. I, I'm a bit weird on this specific point. I don't think you need someone at the back green immediately. I prefer, I personally prefer having more map control pushed up. So I would prefer right now off the break having somebody there and having something like this. To be honest with you, I would prefer that off the break because that first wave of kills, if you can kill them in the middle and then back off and then back off, you've just given yourself an extra line because they're now spawning all the way back there. Does that make sense? So again, you have to be very careful with it. Which I don't mind you playing here, but the problem for me is you're just inviting map pressure. Like right now, look at the gunfight you're going to have. You, like what if somebody goes up here, they have a chance to kill you. You don't have a lot of map pressure in my opinion when you play back here. A lot of people do it anyway, so I'm kind of in two minds about it. I just personally, I don't love it. And that's a perfect example. That's exactly why. I'm glad that happened to be honest, because you can see what I'm talking about. For me, the biggest thing is, it's not about the hill. It's about understanding what's open. So you're sitting here right now, but there's a big, big issue. We don't have a clue of P2. There is no intel of P2 or P5. Yeah. So what's happened is this. You're sitting here watching over, which is fine, if you had someone where P2 window watching the right. Yeah. So you see what I'm talking about? Why my map control yeah. is so important? You need yeah. to realize on the minimum, oh, what do we have? Well, we don't have anything right now. We need to make sure we have this and then you can sit here. But because you didn't have that, they snuck through. And what happened now he kills you, it causes a lot of chaos. So look, you're pre-aiming your teammate, you're pre-aiming middle, but no one's got the right. So you should be looking at that and picking that up or telling your teammate, okay? Now he kills your teammate as well. Really good play from him. That's two down. And now you spawn out. So again, they just flip the spawns. Really good play from them. Now you rotated, so you did your job well, but you didn't look at the map properly, okay? Literally, what we just spoke about, when you're pushing through, what is the worst thing right now? The worst thing is if you're pushing through, if you're the red team and you're trying to break the hill, right? And the blue team has someone behind you, that is so annoying to play against. Yeah. So right now, you see what they did? That's what you want to do. You want to have someone pushed out. Look how annoying that guy is to play against. I got one. There's another one. There's one more. I got hit by a nade, bro. I was Again, that wasn't your fault because you were weak. But now, look, you, you end up yeah. getting the map control. So this is my problem with the enemy team. I don't think you should have a setup where everyone's playing at the back. Because right now, look how easy it is for you guys to push through middle map. Look, you're literally going through middle map. It shouldn't be that easy. Okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. So when you're on the hill, I want you to do the same thing. I don't want you to play at the back. Because although it's a good spot, if they just go through middle like you are now, they're going to be able to kill you. So be very careful. Only go at the very back if you have map control and you, you feel like that's a lane you're locking down, okay? All right. 25 seconds. Same thing. Let's see what you do here. We could start to rotate. You could start to get scrap. Whatever really works for you. They all You know where they all are. They're all going to be in front of you. You're by yourself. Let's see what you do here. Damn. Good play, but regardless, nothing's really going to come out of that. It's always going to be... Best case scenario, you take someone off the hill for five seconds. This is never really going to amount to anything. Again, just I feel like going top third here is so valuable because you could do the same thing. Like right now, are you trying to get into the hill or are you trying to uh, break them? What are you trying to do here? Break them. Break them. So I feel like you could break them from top here because right now you're trying to break them, but look, you're, you're standing here in a hot spot. You're probably going to yeah. get traded. Where if you go up top, say you break, say you kill this player, 
You can then go prone, reposition. The guy standing here, he can't get on the hill because he's worried about you. Just being a bit smarter. You don't need to be in the action to have an impact. Yeah. Yeah? Now, right now, imagine you got this kill like you did now. But imagine you got this kill from top third. Because right now, where can you go? You can't go anywhere. You know they're spawning on your left, right? They're going to kill you regardless. Unless you yeah. absolutely fry this guy, which is very hard to do. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. You're going to just get traded. And all that's happened now is they got back on the time. Same thing, right? They're back on the time. But now look how far you spawn. So what have you lost in that process? You've lost what? Map control. You were standing here. Now you're back there. You're giving them map control. We want to trap them. We want to get map control. That's the biggest thing. I don't mind this play from you. I like this. Top server is good. We're watching for the rotations. My teammate spawns out. Gotta be careful. And see, like right here, bro. I was kind of like, like that. Where are they spawning, right? right? Yeah. I was like really confused because yeah. a lot of the times when I play this map, I end up like getting flanked off a server. But it's like I still was like wasn't sure. Like, yeah, you know well, what I'm it's saying? it's like, all down to map control and timing. So what you're trying to do, okay, you're trying to limit the amount of options your opponent has. Okay. Yeah. So this is the thing right now, because you don't have a lot of map control. Okay. You could get flanked from server, but you there's so many possibilities right now. So it's not about the specific play. It's about why is it happening? So why do you feel like that? It's because your team doesn't have a lot of map control. And you've seen from the gameplay, that's pretty fair to say. You guys haven't had a lot of yeah. map control. So it's a common yeah. theme. And then what happens is you're getting flanked, but you're thinking, oh, I'm getting flanked because of timing. It's more the fact that that's open. So right now you're going through, okay? We have one teammate on the point. We have one more teammate on the point, And we have one teammate P2. So right now, if you think about it, you are in the middle of nowhere. They could be behind you. So you might get flanked here, but you might not. Let me just show you on the map where it looks like. You have you have one team on the hill, one team next to him, okay? So you have one team on the hill, one more next to him, and you have one person spawning around there. So to be honest with you, they probably are behind you. Because look at the map right now. Where do you expect them to be? I think they spawned around here. I don't know why. I don't know who pushed out, but I'm expecting them to be underneath you server, right? If somebody wanted to, they could have taken a route and gone top. Does that make sense? This is yeah. less likely. So you worried about it? it makes sense. It's less likely, but you need to understand this, like what could happen there. You're standing in the middle of open. So you're going to get engaged by multiple people unless you pick an area to cover. So right now, you're not getting pinched, you're not getting pinched, and there you go. And that's exactly what I spoke about. You could get pinched right now because your teammates are there. So you need to understand, why could I get pinched? Well, I can get pinched because they are spawning P3. So if somebody wants, they might be spawning there. Somebody's going to take a route and go up the server. Or somebody from the old hill that I've got scrap time has gone up the server. Yeah. Okay? So you just got to sometimes play a bit smart, a bit patient here. Like right now, you've got to realize, oh, somebody could be here. I need to watch behind me for a second. I need to actually watch it for 10 seconds. I was trying to get to the, the box right there. Oh, no, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I it. It's just, again, it's just understanding the danger, though. Like, can you see yeah. what I'm saying, though, like, right now, why, yeah. why it was so yeah. dangerous? It's because you're yeah. in their spawn. So they could come from there. They could come from the jump up. They could come behind you. So you're in a scenario where anything could happen. So you yeah. dying to the pinch with just one or four options. They could have been anything that happens. That's my P2. That's my P2 side. Now your team is there. That's two down. Perfect. So you know where they're coming from. This is good. Get on the hill. Let your teammates watch over you. Just a bit of advice. This guy's stunned. Push the shit out of him, bro. He's stunned. Right now, if, he, if you're stunned now, you're going to jump out of the corner. You, you can't even move. So you need to be pushing him right here. Okay? Good play regardless. You end up getting the kill. Right now, get on the hill. Tap window, tap window. I see what you're trying to do here. And I can see a common theme. This scenario is perfect example of just just making these decisions a little bit quicker and a little bit smoother. It will come with time. Like right now, once you get this kill, like your job, right? Your job is to trap them in server. I just, I would love for you to just be more confident and aggressive here. Like if you can trap them here, you are going to get another 40 seconds. Like if you get the trap like this, you are going to get another 40 seconds. Have you had this trap before? Like this similar trap? Yeah. Yeah. So your job right now, when there's one on the hill, right, and you stunned him, right? You stunned this guy. Think about what's happening. You killing him isn't the big picture. You want to kill him so that you can kill his teammates rotating. But you just taking your time, like waiting here, like just it feels like you're just giving them time to push through. Okay? I just want to see you get yeah. a bit more aggressive. 
and just just i don't know just being a bit smarter there because you know exactly what you're doing just the execution even right there like your teammate and you dying should never happen in those scenarios it should never happen I feel like I overextended right there. Yeah, no, I was gonna say that. Yourself, I was gonna right? say you did overextend because again, you had everything here, bro. You had everything. You have people watching over. You gotta just work as a team and sh like sh team fire right now. And right now, there's no comms from you saying, "Yo, watch my top window. I've got bottom left." You have an advantage. You're playing as a team right now. What's stopping all three of you from pre in the bottom? Nothing. You guys should be coming right now. The fact that this player is standing here is so bad. Your teammate should be shooting him. But what's he doing? He's watching the bottom. So that should be a communication thing. You should tell him, yo, whoever's the top P2, watch my top window. I've got the bottom. Watch my window. This guy would die. You would get your kill. It's a different scenario. Instead, he comes out. He gets one. He gets two P's because he's watching the other angle. Simple communication issue there. Yeah. And now what, what's the effect of that? Well, 20 seconds left. You guys spawn back here. What does that mean for, for you? Well, what that means is the red team can now push out. They're no longer trapped in their base. You want them trapped. Now that they're pushed out, I mean, bro, it's anyone's game again, man. You're fighting for mid-map control again. One wave and they're going to end up winning the game here. Well, not winning the game, but getting more momentum. You just want to make yeah. sure you keep them trapped when you can. Make sure you really punish them. Good kill. Really good kill. We don't want to push you through tunnel. Again, same thing. Same exact thing. You have to realize where, what's happening here. Right now, tell me where they are. Like exactly where all four players are. Uh, one for sure could be pushing through a tunnel. Okay. Uh, uh, why do you think that? Because they spawn in that way. But no one's died, and this is what we spoke about earlier, right? So right now you get the kill. This is the last time you guys got a kill. Okay. So by the time you spawn up, if you think about it right now, he spawned up as well, right? So he's probably because just think again. His team has P five control. So wherever he spawns. He knows that P5 is safe, so he's probably pushing through P5 to go up top. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If somebody rushes through tunnel there, I think that's a bad play from them because tunnels are an uncertainty, but they, they have P5 control. So now we go through. So somebody could be here. But again, just the, the way you're approaching this, it's like they could easily, easily be top server watching over right now. You're by yourself. Like You need to be a little bit more patient here and think about the bigger picture. For me, the bigger picture is mid-map control and P1. Instead of just running through the middle and trying to sneak up behind them, why not go through, okay, go through the left, maybe go top server, because you know how impactful top server is, right? And they're going to yeah. be all over there. So why not take a route here, go top server? 15 seconds left, you don't need to worry about this. Good kill there, you get the first kill, but now you're the target. And look what I said, someone's top server. You're jumping across, they know where you are. Why? Because you're a red dot on the map. They just saw you. You get traded, and now you spawn at the back. And let's look at the kill feed together. What's going on? Two people down, you're spawning out now. This is really bad. And you can see how it's a domino effect. You guys are spawning out now. It's nothing about gun skill. It's just simply about making the decisions that benefit your team. There was a guy top server earlier, remember? Yeah, I was trying to slide cancel right there and the fucking. But even generally, even if you slide cancel, right, he probably kills you because he's preeming you because they're understanding yeah. spawns. So the difference between diamond and crimsons, they're a lot more punishing. They're a lot more punishing. Same spawn, you know, you spawned here. He's probably not going to be there anymore, to be honest. Could you spawn there? Your teammates up there again, just using the mini map. I can tell no one's up there. You're going through, you're going back on the hill. What's the problem? They can have people P2. Let's see what happens there. He was up there, actually. Yeah, There's two of you on the hill. Right There's now, so. no map control right now. You guys yeah. are more worried about the hill than the map control. Don't ever, ever worry about the hill unless you have map control. Right now, look, think about what's happening. You guys are 3v4. Where are all your teammates? All three of you guys are within two meter radius. All of you are next to each other, right? Yeah. This isn't ideal because they have so many angles. Your teammate dies on the hill and now, now you're 2v4. You're 1v4. You're by yourself. You're on the hill. Remember, you're trying to play your life. Realistically, you can't play your life against four people on the hill because the hill's only so small. So like, how many seconds did you get there? Let's see. Let's see how many seconds you got since you got on the hill. So it's 69 right now. Two seconds. Okay. So you guys got four piece for two seconds. This is why I'm saying hill isn't as poor as map control. Because right now, one, two. They've literally got what you got just from getting the kills. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you didn't go tunnel there. Tunnel's not good if you have no map control. Now, when you play Iridescence, what is the only difference right here? An Iridescent team is not letting you jump through this window because they just got four down. So they're not letting you jump through this window. This Crimson team, they did. 
So as you go higher in levels, they're more punishing. That's the main difference, okay? Yeah. That guy was top there. Again, he probably could have been top... So again, you, you didn't see him top... The same player that they killed me top server off the point. Exactly, exactly. So now you're seeing the correlation, right? Instead of him being P2, instead of him being P2 watching that side, instead he decided to sit there, which is a bit of a weird route. But you got to remember, when they have map control, they can do what they want. They can take those weird routes. It's the same thing. You just got to realize when you're going through, somebody's probably pre in this. And now you spawn the other side? You guys have spawns again. I think they messed up. They gave you spawns there. Okay, they gave you spawns. Pretty bad play from them. They go through. The comms isn't as powerful in terms of setups as I like it to be from you. I want you to tell your teammates where to go. I want you to be more commanding, okay? Yeah. Right now again, what's the issue? There's two of you in the hill. It's just about being passive. There's three of you now. Three of you in the hill. Now I understand there's a cruise, but the concepts are the same for me. Three of you in the hill. It's just not ideal. Right now, no one's watching P2 and you're getting pinched. Can you see how you're getting pinched? Because you guys just have no map control. Yeah. Yeah? It's not even yeah. about you problem. It's as a team, you guys need to uh, kind of establish a way of playing. 25 seconds, same thing as last time. You guys are on the back foot in terms of rotation, okay? Yeah. They actually got the kill on the hill. That was massive. That was massive. That was That's unfortunate. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> and they give you spawns so they are broke you could have won this game because they gave you spawns for free so they weren't amazing they were not amazing they gave you spawns for free okay i don't mind this you got equipment as well bro you got a stun and nade use that shit yeah i don't mind it though i don't mind you trying it it's an execution problem there i didn't mind it again you can try and practice see what works for you now what is a problem with your setup talk to me what do you guys think the problem with this current setup is Oh, I know by the top snow. It's just, warehouse. exactly. They just, there's just no map control. Like, you guys are basically stuck at yeah. the back. Honestly, like, if I'm the red team, I'm just keeping you off the hill. You have to remember, you know, every hill has to be a win for your team. If you can keep the opponents off the hill, that's good enough sometimes. So, right now, them, like, you guys are quite reserved. This is good for you. Pushing out, pushing out, pushing out. I don't like this back in the way. I want you to push out here. Like, once you're in this scenario, I want you to push out. You know why? You know they are spawning. Over there. Let's make you red just for this second, okay? You know All they're right. spawning here, so they're pushing through middle. You're you're prim in this area, okay? If your teammate has this area covered, you remember you want to rotate, you want to flip the spawns. So yeah. you should be pushing through, trying to get these kills, and then what should you do? You should push through the left. So when you're standing here, there's one route, which is go here, get this kill, get these kills here, and then push all the way around and get spawns, okay? But what yeah. you did is you saw nobody pushing you. So you realized that they were not pushing you. So that means they're either going through middle or rotating. And you just decided to double down middle. But the problem now is like, you're not really focusing on the new hills. Again, I know there's 40 seconds left. So I understand not fully rotating, but I think just cutting them up is, is very helpful here. Then your teammate spawns out and they have map control. So that left side is where you guys died from. And you actually had that locked down. So sometimes just watch the gaps and hold it. Just hold it. You guys have new spawns now, which is fine. 25 seconds, same thing. What we're worried about right now, I'm worried about P2, okay? So what we should be saying is to our teammate, yo, make sure you have P2. They snuck through last time. Don't let them get through. You see they're going through. They're doing the same thing. Good kill from you. Now immediately watch the left side here. I want you to watch the left. Watch your right. Right now you should be turning around. So right now, somebody could easily be behind you. Yeah. And that's something we should check. So you see right now, I know your brain is focused on the hill. But right now, what about your right-hand side? What if somebody's there, which they easily could be? Again, look who you're pre-aiming. Look who you're pre-aiming. Look at your map control. Right now, what do you think you should be doing right now? This is a perfect scenario. What do you think you should be doing right now? Getting top third. Or even, bro, you have the license to push out. Your team has given you one free death, okay? This is a one free life. You have a free life in this scenario to get crazy, get a two-piece, and then die, because what's going to happen? Let's just say you kill these two players, okay? And then get traded. What happens? Talk to me. What do, what do you think happens with the spawns? For the next 10 seconds, for the next 10 seconds while this he was activated, you spawn there. Where do they spawn? Mid tunnel. Not yet, because you got to remember, it's still P3 spawns, okay? Yeah. This is the most important thing. Because it's still P3 spawns, you spawn there, they spawn back there. 
okay? Because it's still P3 spawns. Once Ooh. it goes to P4, then the new spawns activate. So while it's still on P3, you should be spawning them as far away as possible. Does that make sense? So what do you mean by P3 spawns? Like Okay, perfect. That's a good question. So right now, what hard point? We're on, we're on the third hard point, okay? So on this specific hard point, there's two main spawns. One is around there. One is around there, okay? Yeah. So while this hard point is still activated, because think about it, there's 12 seconds left. So this hard point is still activated, okay? So for the next 12 seconds, they will be spawning here, you will be spawning around there. Yeah. It changes a little bit, but not too much. Now, if you get a kill in the next 10 seconds around there, if you kill these players around there, they are going to spawn on their hill, on their spawn point, which is all the way back there. Okay? As soon as P4 activates, as soon as it goes into P4, the spawns now change. The spawns are a lot closer. The spawns are around oh, there. So that's why you said they got a free life. That makes exactly, sense. Because now, P3, I would rather you be a bit more aggressive because if you get a kill, the reward is so high. The reward is yeah. so high because they spawn out. Even if you die, it's not the end of the world. But it's still ideal to get a kill. So if I'm, if you're Hydra or a BZ, Shotzi, you, you're pushed out right now. You get a two-piece, they're spawning all the way there. As soon yeah. as it goes into P4, as soon as it goes into P4, the spawns get less punishing because the spawns are now around there, okay, and yeah. around there. So if you kill them, it's still good, but it's not as good as this. That's another 10 seconds for no reason. Yeah. Five seconds. So that's why in those scenarios, when there's 10 seconds left, punish the shit out of them. Get the kills. So you know right now they're spawning behind you, but you're going back. You shouldn't be back right now. You look, you're look. you not really sure where they're coming from. This Right now, if I pause this and I said to you, what's wrong with it? I could write a whole thing. There's no reason to preempt this back right now. This is what I mean by doubling back. You should right now be pushed up, okay? You are number three. So I, wanna, I want you to change your mindset. Instead of backing down and preempting the tunnel, like your flank, you should be staying here, holding an angle, holding map control, funneling them through a tunnel, funneling them through an area of the map. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah, no, nah, that makes sense. You're, you're actually watching the spawns, but you're worried about the spawns. They're not spawning here. It's impossible. They can't spawn here because uh, the hill hasn't even popped. You haven't got any kills. They can't spawn here. Okay? Is that like you're scared yeah. of a ghost right now? We need to be turned around, frying the shit out of them. And this right here, if you can change this, which I'm sure you will, you'll be a lot better. Because now you push through. What's the problem? They, they could have escaped by now. Yeah, this yeah, whole little yeah. rotation you did is too long. That's those 10 seconds. This guy could have easily got through by now no one had the right they could have got through you need to punish them kill them in their spawns and what happens Cruz comes in you guys are too passive you guys are too passive you die you're now at the back just like i spoke about now you guys have less map control instead of being yeah. pushed up now you're playing from back here can you hold the the spawns the hill absolutely but it's too it's too reserved you're way too back now you go through again look at this you're getting kills but look they're watching over you exactly what we spoke about there's no map yeah. control. So now they're going to spawn you out. As soon as they get the kill, they spawn you out. Where do you spawn? Just on the other side. Like we said, they spawn right here. And they've got map control. And at this point, the game's over. Yeah, no. Why is the game over? Because look, look where they are. Look how hard this is to play against. Because they're middle map. They're not letting you get through. You see the difference? Yeah. Now look, you're, you're scared to go through, right? Why? Because they're holding it. But you guys weren't holding this. 20 seconds, they got all that time. You're going to... I don't mind you up here again, but it's just it's a bit too late here. It's just a little bit too late. Yeah, way too late. Yeah. So, do you do you have any questions? Because I think the rest of the game is pretty no, kind of close, man. so they're gonna win. Like... No, so, when no, I look no. at this, sorry to interrupt. I know it looks like you got fifteen kills, but honestly, it wasn't like the end of the world, man. It was more the fact that they had so much positioning and map control that you guys didn't really have much room to work with. So, you're gonna lose a gunfight because they're set up. So, yeah. they're good players regardless. So, that's soul, that's simple. They're good players. So, when they're set up and they got the map control, it's very easy. You're giving them easy kills. That's not what you want. You want to give them hard kills. Yeah, no, that makes sense, bro. Yeah? Perfect. All right, we'll catch up in a second. Let me end the video. YouTube, you guys are in the video. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Another an in-depth breakdown on how to kind of control spawns as a Crimson player. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, and I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Peace.